So we got a three bet pot pre flop. Doug bet the flop. Bet's turn as well, too. Daniel calls. River is a five. Flush draw misses. 23k behind land, and we might already see one of our first big pots of the session. Ace Who four is going to strike Let's first go. blood? Let's go. Blood. Ace four versus set. Oh, he checks. That's not good. Oh. Well, there's something wrong with the mic. Oh, the static is going on. Okay, let's move that. Sorry, guys. We're getting this set up over here, guys. Yeah, move that. Move that. Uh, move that. Move your phone away from that thing. Away from the mic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And Perfect. he's all in. And he calls. And... Ooh. Why didn't he jam on him? Why did he... He gave he saved him six hundred dollars. What do you mean? So he, Daniel takes down that pot as we're getting this uh, as we're getting this sound fixed up here. He didn't here. jam all in. He. What do you mean? Oh, he didn't jam he, all in that hand. No. Okay. He left Doug with like six fifty four. He left him with like a big blind. We're gonna go back to that big hand here, guys. Bottom right hand corner. So Daniel calls the three bet with the four five of spades. Flops say uh, a monster. Does he ever raise here? Um, Landon with the four five of spades. You ever raise with a with a combo draw, straight draw, and flush draw? It can't be the worst thing in the world. You just have too much equity, anyways. But. I'd mostly be calling. You must be calling. So are you, yeah. are you very, it's, uh, it seems like in these kind of three bed pots, I uh, mean, people might be raising a little bit too wide, like the ranges for raising that most people might intuitively think aren't actually what it is because most people would think that four or five spades, that'd be a hand that you would want to raise here yeah. with so much equity and with the fold equity. But it seems like hands like that play more as calls. Yeah. Why, why is that? Why is that? Uh, most of it has to be that you want to realize your draw mm -hmm. and then you're not, I mean, you do have some raises on this board. You're going to raise some sets like threes and sixes for sure. Uh huh. And then you're going to have some strong top pair hands like an ace jack off that you just call pre. And they're mostly just going to be mixed to where you can raise them, you can call. Uh -huh. Like, you can't really make a mistake. The only big mistake would actually be just be folding. Right. So, so either option is going to be fine. Right. Here. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So he does just call, turns the nuts. Turns Yahtzee. Doug bets again. Daniel just calls, obviously. Or not obviously, right? I guess some people might race here as well too. It's, but with, the, normal with here. the flush draw, it's it's you're not really worried about too many rivers, uh -huh. so it's you're less incentivized to race. So it's more likely that they have a bluff themselves, or that they have a strong value hand that they're going to try to jam them. Like they're going to value bet themselves on the river anyways. With mm -hmm. well, he does just call. River comes down to five. It's an ugly river for Daniel a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Well, we got some burn here, left hand side. So Doug check calls pot size bet. King, queen, jack, three, two clubs. Doug might have something like a two pair. Might have a, a mage trade already. Nine, ten, ace, ten. Maybe he's got a king high flush draw with that top pair. So let's see if Daniel continues to put the aggression on here. We see Doug, when he makes those big bets in the turn, he usually follows it up with a massive bet on the river. We haven't seen Daniel... We haven't seen Daniel overbet the river very often in this match. It's certainly not a regular play by him, but he does go with the overbet here. So he is switching up and they both do have, in fact, the 9-10. Oh, Doug had a free roll. So Doug was slow playing the 9-10. He snap called. They chop it up there. So Doug calls the pot size bet on the turn with the straight and with the flush redraw. Daniel also has a straight. So Daniel had to be feeling pretty good about that situation as the energy starts to build up here. And uh, he takes that down to the left-hand side. The gorilla is angry. Daniel, yeah. He's, he's angry at the six of hearts. He's angry at that. That's that at six of hearts for sure. So Daniel, three bets, pre-flop, check calls, flop. So Daniel, kind of hands to me, check calling the flop with uh, pocket nines, pocket eights, maybe some slow played kings, king jack. Of course, he's going to have some queens as well, too. Yeah. And Daniel does check call once again. Rivers a king, 31,000 in the pot. Landon. We might, we might have an all-in moment. We might have an all-in moment a, here. An, a degree all-in moment. The degree all-in moment, sponsored by... Degree. Degree. <laughs> Right-hand side, three bet and a call. Left-hand side. Let's see if Doug continues. If he's got a king, he makes trip kings. If he has some bluffs... Maybe he feels like he got a bluff 8-9 here as one of some of his worst hands. 8-9, Jack-10. 8-9, Jack-10. Those might be the bluffs we might ex expect to see Doug Polk show up here with. I, I sense the marbles coming in. I think so, too. Doug does. Yeah. He shoves. Daniel doesn't snap call. That's a good sign for Doug Polk. Daniel, like, might... Oh, and Daniel does lay it down. Nice pot goes Doug's way. Right-hand side. Another pot brewing here. Boys, lock in. Pay attention. There is some fire going on right now, for sure. There is fire happening right now. Doug Polk's going to bet the turn. King, seven, four. Two hearts. Turn is a four. If Daniel has all those gut shots. Even some flush draws, he might consider laying it down here. A seven might consider laying it down, but he doesn't. He, he does call. Doug, pot size bet lever. 28,000 in the middle. Let's go. More blood. All the marbles. All More the blood time. is better. More blood is better. Let's see what happens here. Doug Polk in the tank. Will he continue with his story? Three bets pre-flop, bet flop, bet turn. Pot dun, size bet. Dun, 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 he does. Dun, dun, Get dun, snapped. Dun. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 no way. Oh, no. Is this what it's going to be? 
A set of nines for Daniel Negreanu on the river makes the full house. And Doug has ace king. Doug has the top pair, top kicker in the three bet pot. And just like that, I think it's safe to say Daniel Negreanu has officially reached fire mode for fire mode. round two as he has stacked Doug Polk twice already. Ay, 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 papi. What is happening here? When right. you do, and we do kind of have a spot here, left hand side, we'll pick that back up. So it's a three bet pot pre flop, guys. Lock in. Doug Polk check raises the king nine ten, all clubs here. So Doug is saying he has a flush here. I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't you got the Doug, really. the, the Doug D O double the D Doug, dog. Doug, the Doug D O dog, the Doug, the Doug Polk dog shit special. The Doug you know, Dimmodome dog special. He shows up with the dog, man. He's got a lot of dogs here. Here we go, guys. King nine ten. The dogs are barking. The dogs are barking as the big pot alert. The gorilla is ravaging. The big pot alert is officially. In play. In play here. So Doug check raises, checks that turn. We know, we know what's happening there, Supreme Leader. We know what's going on here. Daniel's seeing through that. Maybe. Maybe. We know what he's got. Let's see what Daniel, how he's going to handle this one. King he, might, nine, he might go with the small bet, like quarter pot. Four or five thousand? Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Check to Daniel. He's playing a lot slower today. I like that. Mixing up his time. He does check back. River's a king. King yeah. nine. King ten. Maybe make a full house. Daniel could have that. I don't know if Doug's check raising king ten. He certainly could. Maybe he's got a set of kings, set of ten, something like that. You never know. Let's see what he does here. Maybe he goes that overbet. If Doug Polk overbets, I will. Oh, he didn't. Okay. He bets two thirds. He would hit. He would have hit me with the right cross. I would have hit. No, I'm not hitting you with the right cross. I would have boxed that the, bat, the boxing bag behind you. He calls three, four of clubs. Ay, 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 papi. Colamos la mata, colamos la cita. Ay, ay, ay. He had it. So Doug Polk, what a what a tricky fucking hand that is. I mean, it's a spicy guy right there. You get sucked. You get sucked out on. You start throwing straight right. Wait, every room needs one. You need a boxing thing in your room. If you play online poker, you need And you this, don't have one of these? You need this in your place, and you need to beat the shit out of it when you have a losing session. The other day, I was uh, battling the ACR streets, playing some of that 510, uh, the 510 Zoom game against the bots on there. And uh, uh, listen, per I lost- Perceive it, perceive it bots. Whatever, I'll let, who knows? Who Alleged. Knows, right? Who knows? But Only God I, knows. Uh, God knows. I, 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 took it, I took it to town after a nice session with that bot. Right hand side, three <laughs> Doug, see that's the flop. 12K in the middle, a lot of money behind, 41,000 still out there. So let's see what happens here. Doug might bet two thirds, he does go two thirds, 8,200. Tough spot for Dane to continue, he's gotta fold out his seven eights, gotta fold out his, uh, his his gut shots here. Maybe some open end straight draws, he might fold out as well too. Probably not though. Daniel calls, here we go. Five on the river, guys. King six, four, four, five. Big pot energy brewing. B, P, E. B, P, E, the big pot alert energy has ball. officially- energy ball. energy ball, The energy ball fires up here. Doug Polk, will he fire it? Will Doug Polk fire, guys? 33,000 behind, he does fire. Snap, no, no snap call. No snap call. Daniel, maybe that's a king. Maybe like a king jack, king six. No, King 60 snap calls. King Jack, maybe King, King Jack. King 10, call. King Jack. Ace high, maybe? Ace high. Getting spicy. No, he does not have Ace not, high. He does not have Ace high. What Ace high would he have? Maybe he's got a force 5-7? A Ace 6 or something? Ace 6? Ace 6? Maybe Ace 6 the worst hand he calls here with? I have no idea. Kid Landon? I could see it. I can see him call with A6. I, Energy's I brewing. Rather, I the smoke you... builds up. Dan Negrano's in the tank right now, facing a $33,000 bet. Three bet pre flop. Bet Doug Polk. Bet turn. And shoves boom, the river. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the truck begins to back up as Doug Polk says, I need to get one back from you, Daniel. Does Daniel have it in him? Can he make the call? The energy's building. We the tension good. builds. The smoke is rising. He's got to feel so good. He makes this, he makes the call, loses here. He ain't going to feel good about that. And he is in the tank. Damn. Momentum's on his side so far for the match. He does lay Ooh. it down. Supreme leader takes this it down. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship for this Doug could Polk be, in the day. This could be the comeback there. As we see a three-bet pot, we got to keep our eyes open here, guys, because we're getting some deep stacks. We're going to get some fireworks here. Queen 5-3, rainbow three-bet pot. We know a lot of action goes down on these queen high boards out here, boys. And girls, shout to Melissa out there. Melissa, there, there, son, agree. What a great hair Melissa's working with there. Hello, Melissa. Hello. She gave me hair. She gave me hair tips. Did she? Mm -hmm. Well, she's got some sexy hair. I mean, look at this hair. Look at that red. Not quite as cool as your great hair, but still, nonetheless. Close second. Close second, yeah. Right hand side. Three bet pot. Let's go, guys. Lock in. King on the turn. Expect Dan to continue betting here. 
Let's see what happens. What is he going to go with here? 8,000? 82? Yeah. yeah, makes sense. He's learning. Dare I say? <laughs> Whoa! Should we should we review at ACR 510 hand I played her after, after we get a first break? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right, so Daniel's going to bet the turn. Very deep. Let's see what Doug does. Doug might have a slow played. Set of five, set of threes. He does just call. River is the 10. Backdoor ace jack makes that straight, guys. So three bet preflop. Daniel bets a flop. Bet the turn. Doug might have a hand like a queen eight. Something like that. Queen eight. Let's that's see what that's happens. You, that's what you're going with, Queen 8. Queen 8. All in! I need to block Ace 9. But Doug doesn't have it. Ace 9's a pretty sick bluff here, blocking Jack 9 and Ace Doug Jack. doesn't have it. Call 7! Ay, ay, what the what? hell's going on here? That turn bet's a little bit spicy, a little dicey from Daniel. A massive pot goes to Supreme Leader's way. $121,000. What not too, the, sure, not what? too sure about that one. Ay, ay, ay. Cola, mosta, cala, mola, cala, mola, cita. What the? No. Oh my god, bro, chill out. God. <laughs> Seriously, what's hot was though, man? What? That's how it was sometimes. It's crazy. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Sure. Isn't it? it? Sounds a little... I know. It's intense, right? Stair is intense. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the screen. <laughs> Just fade. <laughs> Just let, let, the, let the Dementors carry me away. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I like the, I like the hat on you, man. It looks good. Right hand yeah, side. It's, it's, it's the Miami Cuban, Miami vibe. Cuban poppy hat. Right hand side. Let's see. Doug's in a bet river, one third. Let's see what Daniel does. All in call. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I hope so. I know. We really, just, so. we, we really are just, we're here for content is what we're here for. We're here for the content. He calls. Aye, 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 aye. 46 Doug speeding. Doug, Doug speeding a little bit. Truck driver. Looks like maybe got a little, uh. A little speed going on. A little speed with the bottom of his range there. Four going, or five Going, going 90 to 65 right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, listen, uh, it's pre We got to, you know, aye, 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 puppy. Doug Polk coming through. Truck driver. Try to make that delivery. Try to get that delivery on time. Logistics are in order. Doesn't want to make his boss mad. But he made him mad. And he just makes him mad. He, he falls out there. He just makes him so, so mad. Just so aye. mad. Just unreasonably aye, mad. Aye, just aye. So the fire mode is officially off now for Doug Polk. Just so mad. Just so, so mad. Ray inside. Three bet preflop by Doug. C bets king eight. Deuce two diamonds. Landon's jamming out right now. Having a good time. The animal's going crazy. He's freaking out. The animal. He's having fun. See what Daniel does. They are very deep stack here, guys. 80,000. Daniel calls. Turn is a king. Big pot energy starts to brew here. The animal is hyping everybody up right now. Super Saiyan animal right there. Doug's going to bet again on the king turn. Puts a lot of pressure on Daniel. Daniel has those, what, look like those, queen jack? Look at those sweeping kicks. I know, I know. The double sweep. Wow, that's, look at that. He's fighting off 10 people at once. Daniel calls once again. Let's see what's happening here, guys. Pot's brewing. Ace on the river. Doug might just jam all of it. Doug, Landon, Landon, right? Landon, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Landon yeah. predicts a $68,000 jam. It. I'm saying it's potentially possible because like he just has all the ace kings. Oh, he he, now he's doing Gangnam style. Look at him. Ay, 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 puppy. King three, $64,000 pot. Goes Daniel's way. Doug Polk has the 6-7. Bluffs the river on the ace. Can you switch the head? Quick bounce. Get the coffin, guys. <laughs> you get it all. Go. You get, it, you get all, all the fire, all the memes at once. Redline King coming soon. Stay Red tuned. Line. Stay tuned, Redline King. Here we go. Left Red hand line. side. Three bet pre flop. Redline. Uh oh. I Omega feel it. Alpha. I feel it. You feel it, Poppy. Daniel bet the flop. Turns a deuce of spades. Innocent looking deuce of spades. Innocent. Innocuous. Innocuous card. He shoves Boom! it. He calls Jax for five. Four or five of spades. Gets it in. Doug Polk. Fire mode. Let's go. Four bet alert. Left hand side. Here we go, guys. So Doug with another four bet. They are about 54. All in. 
Call aces or kings, no way! Oh my god. Doug needs a king! Doug needs a king! King! Ay, ay, ay. $108,000 pot goes Dan Negreanu's way as the energy builds up. Boom, 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 boom. Aces versus Kings there for Daniel Negreanu as he takes down a $100,000 pot. So let's see, right hand side, Doug bet the turn. Half pot, rivers of four. He's probably gonna have to bluff hands, make a jack, maybe like jack five. Yeah, hands the nine in it for a bluff as well. He does go pretty big, 16,000. It's also a good card for his overpairs as well to get value from two pair like eight, seven, ten, eight, because the four obviously counterfeit kind of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Okay. Joey. Okay. Let's see what Daniel's I'm gonna do here. If he's got a ten, don't expect him to fold. If he has an eight or a seven, expect him to lay that one down. Depends Could have a slow play full house. Side card is. If he has yeah. Like seven nine. It's a nice call. Blocking the nine. He does check raise all in. He's saying he's got a full house here, guys. He's saying he has something like 7 4, 8 4, 10 4, something of that nature. A good bluff would be like 7 8. He does take it down. Very nice hand for Daniel. Doug's in the tank right now. Got check raised. If he has a hand like King 10, what's he going to do? He shoves all in. Big raise. Supreme leader. See? Look. Backing up that truck is Doug Polk. So, Daniel, check raise flat. A pretty sick bluff here would be 3 4. Blocking sets, like blocking Daniel's most What does Daniel have here that he's thinking about calling with? 5-6? Maybe a flush. Maybe a flush. It's a huge bet, guys. $15,000 bet, $72,000 raise. Daniel's in the tank right now. Can he find a call here? Doug Polk saying he's got a full house. Could have a flush as well, too. Would he shove a queen high flush here on this river? We don't know. Ace high not. flush? Probably going to shove a uh, shove with the ace high flush. Probably, yeah. He has about his, if he got it, he got it. So Dan, Doug Polk attempting to back up the truck. The truck driver making it, trying to make another deposit, get even for this match and be up for the match. Daniel's in the tank. I mean, what does he have, guys? A flush, probably like maybe like 10, 9 diamonds, maybe 5, 6 for that straight. I don't know if he would have check raised 10, 9 diamonds on the flop. He does lay it down. Doug Polk takes he down back. a very nice pot. That's a supreme leader one. with a little pot for himself right there. Very nice hand. We're going to bet pot on the left-hand side. Doug's going to check. Daniel's going to bet a little less than half pot. Doug's going to check call. Turn is a jack. So there's the flush out there, guys. Right-hand side, Doug's in continuation bet. 2,200. Poke back on the truck a little bit here. He wants to take a lead. This match might end for the day. Doug picks up the right-hand side. Left-hand side, big bet by Daniel. 9,500. See what Doug does here. Maybe Doug has a hand like what? Ace 10, no club. Oh, he might lead this ripper. No. He does check it. 33,000 in the middle. The flush does get there. So if Doug had a hand like an ace 10 with one club, he now makes that flush. It's true. See what Daniel does here. Daniel's in the tank. 30, maybe he shoves here, guys. Very well might. Daniel's in the tank. Big pot energy is brewing right now. Doug Polk. Checks it down. Wow, interesting. So Daniel, wow, very, that might be a value jam. very interesting river right there. Doug has ace queen. Daniel has ace jack with that jack of clubs, like we mentioned, and he's the actually one that had ace jack. So let's kind of go over that hand real quick here, guys. So Doug has ace queen of spades, three bets pre flop, check calls with that top pair. Daniel has ace jack. Turn actually turn two pairs. So we have a better hand. So he turns the two pair. River is the eight of clubs, so basically Daniel has dirt nuts. He only loses to a queen of clubs or a king of clubs. Oh, they're done. And, uh, oh, so basically, okay, so here's the thing with the ace jack hand, is when he has ace jack and blocks both of the top pairs, it's more likely that Doug does have a draw, just based on the necessity of him having two pairs. Mm -hmm. So I understand the check, but I'm not sure if he can actually, in like a theory, would check back the river, uh -huh. just because Doug has a very reasonable amount of ace 10 off of 10 of clubs in his range. And also like smaller flush that are gonna have to call as well. Like a five like a five, like a nine five suited type hand. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean it's close. Like yeah. like having both pairs is pretty unfortunate because you also want Doug the hero call with the ace action club too. Because sometimes Doug might call with like ace action no club and think that he just kinda pull it out and bluff it. So yeah. Check back there, and that's gonna be the last hand of the match. It looks like 